Hi guys, welcome to the channel. You're watching The Electric Singularity. If you're new, great to have you. If you're not, welcome back. Now, CATL has quickly become the world's largest manufacturer of batteries over the last few years. They've drastically scaled up their battery production, become the largest in the world. I think they are set to continue that lead and possibly to increase it over the next five years. One of the reasons I believe this will happen is because they are a Chinese company and in China, you are, it's difficult to get incentives for your EV if you purchase your EV and it doesn't have battery pack or isn't primarily made in China. What this means is companies that build vehicles in China are pretty much always sticking with Chinese made products. Now, aside from the fact that CATL actually makes some excellent products, including a lithium ion phosphate battery that they say will do over 1 million kilometers, CATL also supplies batteries to a number of companies, including Tesla and Mercedes. Now, CATL are apparently about to begin work on an enormous factory in Shanghai that will supply batteries for Tesla's Gigafactory and also potentially other automakers in China. According to a Reuters exclusive report based on unofficial but apparently reliable sources, CATL plans to build a large EV battery plant in Shanghai. The location would suggest that Tesla would be its primary customer, and I think that is likely. Now, what is most interesting about this report is that this new factory apparently will be able to deploy 80 gigawatt hours of cells annually. That is an absolutely enormous number. This is more than CATL's 69.1 gigawatt hours that is currently installed capacity and it's 77.5 gigawatt hours under construction so put this into context guys they current CATL currently has 70 gigawatt hours of capacity they have plans for another 77.5 gigawatt hours of capacity and now they're planning for an additional 80 gigawatt hours of capacity so larger than their entire current capacity in other words they're going to more than triple their capacity over the next five years you can see why CATL has huge potential. Now they're not valued as such. They're valued at a similar rate to BYD with a, with a PE, player efficiency rating, price to earnings of just over 100. Similar to BYD, BYD is at about 90. So I see them as a good buy in the investment world. Companies like Neo and Xpeng, I think they're overvalued. Their PEs are off the charts. I think one day it may be possible that those valuations would be, we can look back and say that was were fair, but right now they appear to be overvalued. CATL, I believe, is a huge player. Now, why is that? Why do I think CATL will become one of the biggest player on the planet? It already is, but increase their lead. The reason is because of their sodium batteries. Now, I made a separate video about their sodium batteries, but I believe having these sodium batteries will free up a huge amount of their capacity to be deployed into cars and then the capacity that's generating the sodium batteries those batteries will be able to be deployed into energy storage this will give them the ability to produce more batteries in spite of limited lithium ion storage in spite of limited products for the current batteries that will enable them to sidestep that issue and to continually increase their supply regardless of what the miners are doing now 80 gigawatt hours is a huge number absolutely massive it's enough for 800,000 cars with 100 kilowatt hour battery packs or 1.6 million with 50 kilowatt hour battery packs that's probably more realistic energy density is continuing to increase every year so cars are going to in the future need less and less kilowatt hours per vehicle now catl already supplies batteries the lfp chemistry type for tesla evs produced at tesla giga shanghai 
This is expected to reach manufacturing capacity of up to 500,000 cars annually at some point in 2021. However, the main supplier was LG Chem's Energy Solutions, supplying the NCM chemistry. Now, Reuters says that CATL would like to become the largest battery supplier to Tesla, bigger than the others combined, including energy storage systems. They quote, CATL hopes to rapidly expand that relationship, aiming to become its biggest supplier in the near future by providing half of the battery cells Tesla uses globally, globally in electric vehicles and roof energy storage, said a senior source at the Chinese company. So you can see they're already looking in advance. They're looking here into the future. And I believe they probably had discussions with Tesla on how they can supply Tesla with enormous amounts of lithium ion phosphate batteries for their cars and then enormous amounts of sodium batteries for their energy storage. And obviously this will enable Tesla to ramp up massively their energy storage because Tesla plans on having their energy storage division be as big as their car division. I believe it's Tesla's plan to become the largest energy company on the planet probably by 2030. They have the cash to start massively ramping up this plan. Now, one of the reasons behind the potential investment in Shanghai is a larger and more diversified talent pool than its CATL headquarters in Ningde in southern southeastern China. Because of that, CATL might launch in Shanghai also a research center and a global sales and operational center. There are no details about the timeline, chemistry, or battery cell format. However, the article clearly indicates manufacture of cell to chassis, CTC approach, which is what Tesla does with its structural battery packs with 4680 cylindrical cells. It may very well be that CATL will start manufacturing Tesla's 4680 battery cells at this plant. Very likely, in fact. The plant is likely to be located south of Tesla's Shanghai factory in Lingang, Pudong, New Area, said the second source, adding it will hire 5,000 workers and manufacture Celta chassis CTC batteries. CTC would be one step further compared to the currently used Celta pack with LFP cells. Now, guys, remember, China is planning to dominate the world when it comes to batteries and cars. Now, I believe China perceives, sees Tesla as part of that plan, not as opposed to that plan. Believe it or not, that's what I believe. And remember, Tesla employs tens of thousands of Chinese workers. That number is only going to increase. Remember, Tesla pays taxes in China. This whole crazy conspiracy theory idea, thinking that the Chinese government is out to attack Tesla and get rid of them and steal their secrets. Guys, it's a conspiracy theory. Get hold of your emotions. This is not what's happening. China makes money from Tesla. Tesla gives Chinese government more power, it gives the Chinese government more ability to sell their products globally, not just to the Chinese. Remember, much of the cars made at Shanghai factory in China don't just go to the Chinese, they go outside of China. Now, CATL. I believe. CATL gets a number of subsidies from the Chinese government. It will be very easy for them to get the permits to build this factory. It's going to happen very, very quickly. And they're going to get tax breaks, incentives, all kinds of opportunities, even more so than what Tesla got. Even more so. Remember, Chinese government still spends literally billions of dollars on their electrification industry. They want to be number one. Really, let's be honest, they're on the way to doing so. This is another part of that plan. And this will enable CATL to sell batteries to Tesla cheaper. Cheaper, remember, cheaper than probably what other manufacturers manufacturing these batteries in other countries. Of course, there's a range of brands that are planning on manufacturing batteries in other countries, such as in the United States and in Europe. Remember, they're having to hire stuff over there, having to buy land over there, having to build factories over there. And that costs more than in China. Definitely costs more. Now, if we put CATL, CATL are already doing an excellent job in this industry. But if, let's put the number one battery player together with Tesla. Let's put their brains together. We know that Tesla has built the machinery to automate the creation of their own battery cells. Now, I believe CATL will be using that same machinery in their factories, maybe optimizing it, maybe making it a little faster, 
maybe working out ways to build it cheaper, etc., etc. Bring these two guys together. This is a powerhouse. I'm telling you now, this is a, a huge, this is, we, I cannot, I cannot overstate the importance of this agreement. CATL and Tesla together is an absolute juggernaut. They will become two of the largest companies in the world by 2030. They are well and truly on the way to doing that. Putting these two companies together is scary. This is like putting Apple and Google together. That's what's happened. Guys, thanks for watching the channel. Remember, I've got a series of more than 150 videos all about electrification, batteries, the best EVs on the market, the brands you should invest in or not invest in. Check them out. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.